question asks us what question has not been answered by the passage. So let's look at the options. About how large of an area does the Pacific subgyractic gyre cover? Sorry, subarctic gyre cover. So we see in the second paragraph, most of the drifters have remained stuck in the Pacific subarctic gyre. A set of deep water and surface currents spanning an area the size of continental United States that generally flows counterclockwise around the northern Pacific Ocean. So answer A, uh, question A has been answered. Let's see question C. Approximately how many toys have been recovered from 1992 spill? 1000 toys have been recovered given in second paragraph itself. So question C has been answered. Now question D. Where did the flotsam that has provided the one with the oldest data points originate? Flotsam means floating debris as is given in the paragraph. So as we go down, we see the team's oldest data points and the most eco-friendly result from the eruption of Alaska's Mount Katmai on June 6, 1912. So option D has also been answered. Now option B. In addition to toys, what other types of cargo fell overboard during the 1992 spill? Now we see in the first paragraph, in, the in 1992, um, as the ship heaved through the storm tossed seas, several cargo containers, including one filled with tens of thousands of plastic tub toys, came loose, fell overboard and broke apart. Seven months after the spill, the plastic ducks, heavers, turtles and frogs began washing up on the beaches. Scientists who tracked ocean currents were ecstatic. And then the paragraph goes on to talk about these tub toys itself. So they do not really tell us what was there in the other containers. So we can say option B is not answered. Hence option B in addition to toys where the other types of cargo fell overboard during 1992 spill is not answered.